Hola Capricorns, welcome to your weekly reading for the period of June 14th to June 20th. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM and we can set that up. Let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please find your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Capricorns for the period of June 14th to June 20th? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to the divine? Any messages you have would be greatly appreciated. And we thank you for Capricorns June 14th to June 20th. What do you see? What do they need to know? What are the general energies for Capricorn the week of June 14th? We have the Ten of Wands in the reverse make sure you click on the vimeo link below for your weekly extra which will have your love your career your finances and your health specifically challenge position we have the ten of cups in the reverse um in my playlist 2021 sun moon predictions also i'm starting my 2022s probably mid-month tomorrow i mean mid-july um those are 144 readings, and for those of you that don't know, I do them in order of requests in the comments, so make sure you post up your sun moon reading, because that's a lot of readings to do, and you want to make sure you get in line. Um, advice, we have the two of pentacles in reverse. Also, my playlist, what is your ideal career based on your midheaven? What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? We end on the High Priestess in Reverse. Ask me a question on Instant Go and check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, or donate. Let's get to your reading. All right, so Capricorns, I'm getting the energy that you've decided that you're just going to um, turn somebody away, okay? Um, tell somebody no. I, 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 I'm the, the part that's kind of getting me kind of tripped up a little bit is that I don't, I, I feel like you're saying it, I feel like you want them to pick up on that intention, but I don't feel like you mean it. I feel like you're you're saying it to garner a response or kind of make something happen, but I feel as though if somebody approaches you with something, um, you're gonna be like, no, I'm not interested. No, I'm not gonna do that. No, that's not my job. Um, you know, it's something in that regard. And But you're kind of telling yourself, I need to do this for myself because I can't kind of jump to every time this person kind of comes around. Um, and this person could be anybody. It could be romantic, a family, a, you know, family member, a friend, a colleague. I always stress that. But you're just kind of telling yourself when they come around next time, I'm going to I'm going to say no and I'm absolutely going to do it. But I feel like you're just kind of telling yourself that I am feeling like you want to free yourself from this person. But you're questioning whether or not you're really going to be able to say no. Um, but you know that it's something that you need to do because you take on their problems or you do things for them or you're, you know, what have you. Um, actually, I, I do see how this ends up. So I'm kind of, <laughs> what, what I just said when I said, I don't know whether you're going to do it or not. I kind of see that you aren't, but we'll get to that in a second. So um, the challenge is the Ten of Cups in reverse. Now, this is really strange to me. Well, not really because it's a Capricorn. I get it because you're Capricorns. But not doing things for this person, not helping this person out, not, um, you know, picking up the ball or so to speak actually makes you unhappy. Yes, I know that sounds weird. Um, <laughs> it, it makes you feel as though... Um, you know, you're, you're useless or you don't have a purpose or what have you. And another thing that I'm getting about the challenge is if I feel like if you don't offer to do something for them or you don't offer things to them, they won't come to you. So you kind of like place yourself in a position where, oh, I'll get that for you or, oh, I'll take care of that for you. Or, because, you know, I feel like that is what um, you all have a tendency to do. That's how you show your love through practical matters, through doing things, through fixing things. Okay. Um, or show that you care or show your worth around an office. You take care of the stuff that, and, and you do it very well, that other people, you know, have a hard time taking care of, okay? But ultimately, it's not making you happy for some reason. I'll leave that up to you guys to, um, you know, figure that out. Now, the two of pentacles in reverse is for advice. And, and this, I always call this my trying too hard card. So this is you just trying way too hard to get something. So you're either trying to get... Um, um, validation. You're trying to get um, awarded. You're trying to get respect. You're trying to get more money. Um, I, I feel it's more getting noticed or something in regards to that. And, and it's killing you because you're definitely working too much. You're overwhelmed. You're taking on way, way, way too many responsibilities. Um, and 
it can also be trying to please like um, you have a boss that's just like a total taskmaster and you're just you know going back and forth back and forth trying to do whatever you can so so you know you'll you'll be in a you'll be in a good light with them so to speak and they're just telling you it's too much it's too much you're trying too hard and you don't need to try this hard so they want you to kind of like you know they want you to kind of um, put that light in the load. Don't say yes all the time. Don't be that person to pick up the slack, you know? Just just be responsible for you. Um, but I don't see you doing that. Because <laughs> the High Priestess in Reverse tells me that you know what you should do. You tell yourself that you should do it, but you don't follow through on it. And you talk yourself out of it. The High Priestess in Reverse in my readings is talking yourself out of something, saying, yeah, I, I know that I should do this, you know, but... I'm not going to do that. And then that ends up getting you like in, you know, a uh, hot water or a bad situation. And the high priestess in reverse happens to be a need for validation. So um, I kind of see you moving forward, um, not doing what, you know, spiritually and intuitively in which your inner voice is kind of telling you to do and saying, you know what, I'm going to keep on doing what I'm doing because I know at some point somebody's going to realize how great I am and they're going to tell me and they're going to give me the big trophy. Okay which I don't think necessarily happens. But um, so, you know, you know, find find uh, your value in people who appreciate what you do um, and find value, you know, obviously within within yourself. So um, at least for this week, because it's only a week out. Right. So why are these cards here for Capricorn? Who are these people? What are these energies? Additional messages? Why are these cards before me for Capricorn for the week of June 14th, starting with the Ten of Wands? <laughs> so we have the King of Wands here in the upright, and this is you literally telling yourself, this is what I need to do. I need to take the initiative. This is the logical thing. This is the smart thing. Um, you're being objective about it. You're actually stepping outside the box and almost looking at yourself. Like, what would you tell a friend that was doing all this? So you're being the King of Swords and saying, look, you know, this is the truth. I, I need to, I need to stop letting people take advantage of me or I need to stop doing so much or whatever. So, I mean, you're thinking on it. The, the king of um, swords in the upright is very much like a thinker. Um, he carefully thinks things out before he proceeds. So you're doing a lot of thinking and you know what you're supposed to do, but I don't necessarily know that you're putting that into action. Why is the Ten of Cups here in reverse? Because I feel like that's the source of your happiness. Yep. So the Queen of Cups is here in reverse and the challenge is that first of all it doesn't make you happy and second of all with the queen of cups in reverse when you're doing things for other people you aren't doing things for yourself so you aren't nurturing yourself you aren't taking care of yourself you aren't giving yourself self-love you aren't getting the manny you aren't getting the petty and you aren't having the spa day so i mean it, it brings you happiness to help other people but you know at, at what at what cost and um, the challenge is that you end up losing yourself in that, and then there's nothing left for Capricorn. Why is the Two of Pentacles here in reverse? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages for the Two of Pentacles for advice. All right, so they're they're kind of saying that you know the work too hard isn't working out for you, and you need to have this realization. And the Ace of Pentacles in the upright is like you need to work smarter. Okay, or you need to have a different way of doing things and you need to focus on your stuff. So what are your, your goals? Don't think about other people. What do you want? How are you going to manifest that? Not through people or through, you know, people patting you on the back or what have you. Figure out what that is and then manifest that outside of other people. This new beginning in a practical sense. What do you want and how are you going to go about it? And be very selfish about it, I feel like. Because there's opportunities out there that you aren't kind of following. Um, you know, some greatness that you could be. But you're just kind of getting caught up in everybody else's stuff. Um, why is the High Priestess here in reverse? In regards to how Capricorn will be moving forward. Okay. So we have the three of cups in reverse and I got acceptance for that Um, because I'm getting that <laughs> the three of cups in the upright is when you have a friend or a group of friends or just people that are very supportive of, of you and lift you up and, and you can tell them every, anything and what have you. And three of cups in reverse is like the mean girls, you know, um, an exclusive group, not being accepted, you know, being kind of like left out of something. And I feel like that's kind of what's going on here. You kind of do these things hoping to be part of the cool crowd or like being accepted or you know what have you um having the dynamic change you know um 
I, I'm just, I'm getting mean girls. I don't mean to like, <laughs> it might not be girls and they might not be mean, but I just feel as though you're trying to, um, there are people that are exclusive and you're trying to be accepted by them or kind of like, you know, um, get, get attention from them or be awarded by them or what have you. And, and you just kind of need to cut that out because the high priestess in reverse is also saying, that's not a good way to go. That's not a rightful spiritual path for you. Do you really want to kind of go there? Um, so that's what I'm kind of getting. Um, I'm trying, not trying to piss off any Capricorns. I'm a Capricorn myself, so I'm allowed to say this stuff. <laughs> well, not really, but um, it, this is a message for somebody, so take it with a grain of salt um, and take it if it applies. If it does resonate, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM so we can go ahead and set that up. Make sure you click on the link below if you're a weekly extra, which will have your love, your career, your finances, and your health. Um, in my playlist, 2021 Sun Moon Predictions, I'm starting my 2022s midsummer. Make sure you put Put your requests in i do them by request i'm doing 144 readings which is a ginormous amount of readings and you want to make sure that you get your plate you, you bookmark your place in line um also in my playlist what is your ideal career based on your midheaven what is your compatibility with your partner sun sign ask me a question on instant go check me out on facebook instagram and tiktok like share subscribe or donate otherwise i'll see you in the vimeo adios from veronica garnett bye